<laughs> yeah, I need, uh, I need someone to run and get my sign. Okay. Let's see. Fresh tap water. We're breaking three laws today. This is the uh, third in a series of uh, three, maybe more, uh, acts of dis civil disobedience, and each time we try to break one new law. So this time we'll be breaking the puppet law, the uh, minimum wage law, and the uh, you can't put water in a milk can t uh, carton law. <laughs> Yeah, just right, it's right over there. It Larry, this is for you. <laughs> to sit in, I can't give it to you, but it's not mine, but uh, uh, you're the only one really comfortable today. See that? So, I'm hiring uh, Larry here, who is homeless, uh, and I'm paying him slightly less than minimum wage. Uh, but he- What kind of man are you? He seems to like <laughs> the, the idea of getting you know some money as opposed to uh, just me handing him a dollar or something like this. Well, we'll sit around anyway. That's right. <laughs> awesome. Anyways, I thought you should at least be comfortable so no one can say we're exploiting you. Six dollars an hour <laughs> to sit down, so pretty good deal. <laughs> I was just sitting down a little while ago over there for a couple of hours not making no money, so... <laughs> Sandy, figure out that you're you're breaking endless laws because of uh, because of not asking for paperwork and social security numbers and verifying his. Uh... I, I sent a note to Arnold. <laughs> I sent a note to the uh, federal prosecutor in uh, Concord, and I told him I told him the ones I could think of that I was going to break. But I told him I don't know. I never know which federal laws I'm breaking because uh, you. you Try to break a state law, I end up accidentally breaking a federal law. So there may be all kinds of federals. That or you, you could try to follow a state law and you break breaking a federal. Law. That's right. You, you try to follow a law, you might end up breaking that too. Maybe because Comment we'll so have far. this sign so in front of what's going on back so there, three. which <laughs> might not be illegal. Anything other than milk. Oh yeah, we'll break, break three laws. Uh, we'll break the law that says you can't have a puppet show uh, for profit without a license. Then we'll break a law that says, says you cannot hire someone uh, for under six fifty an hour. Apparently, Larry here is a homeless person. I'm going to pay him six dollars an hour to sit there and just take collection for the uh, for the puppet show. <laughs> then the third uh, thing we're going to break is you're not allowed to put uh, milk. Uh, you're not allowed to put uh, water in a milk carton. And actually, uh, <laughs> this is the this is the milk container I put water in. So I violated the law uh, by putting water in this milk container. Do you feel like a free person? Do I feel like a free person? That's a good question. Not financially, but I feel free. Yes. Now, when you heard that in the paper, this is this is it all happening. Most of these folks moved up here for, for more freedom. What would you, what are you hoping to see see happen this afternoon? Uh, it'd be nice to get arrested, uh, but I don't know if that will happen or not. Uh, we may have to keep doing this for a while before they decide they finally want to arrest somebody over something we're doing. But just want to, you know, break three laws without hurting anybody. Hopefully, break them all in a constructive manner so we're actually helping people. You know? Are you having fun? Oh yeah, yeah. Of course, it's fun. It would have been nice to have gotten arrested on the first try, you know, but uh, this may take a while. <laughs> How many tries has this been? This would be the third one. That's why we're breaking three laws. So. Next time, four? Yeah, next time we'll break four. We, we do it again. We don't have an arrest today. This is just to, to make sure that people understand you, you can violate a law, even a well-intentioned law, without hurting anybody. In fact, you can do it while helping somebody. I want to tell you a story about a government and one man. Now, I may look like Henry David Thoreau, but today I'm actually Mike Fisher, a resident of New Hampshire who moved from Vermont. I had this idea. I watched this movie called Gandhi. It's the year 2005 now, and I'm inspired by Gandhi. I think to have our freedoms back, we should do something like what Gandhi did. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to deliver an illegal manicure in front of the Board of Barbering. I'm going to get profit out of it. I'm going to get a dollar for giving the illegal manicure. And I'm going to try to make them arrest me. I'm going to keep giving illegal manicures until they arrest me or ignore me. It's their choice. Well, 
So what happens is Mike Fisher sends a note to the Attorney General's office telling them he's going to he's going to get an illegal manicure. Mike Fisher, please, please, please do not break that law. We don't want you to go to jail. You're going to be put in jail if you break that law. Okay, cool. The motion for injunctive relief goes nowhere. Mike Fisher is allowed to proceed with his show without being arrested in advance. So he uh, delivers an outlaw, an illegal manicure to uh, this young lady over here. I think that in a free country, you don't need the government's permission to get, to, or to start a business. <laughs> well, you can guess what happens next. <laughs> <laughs> powers of the state appear before him. The police come. They call the police on Mike Fisher for giving an illegal manicure. Well, they give him one more chance. We're the police. Mr. Fisher, we respect what you're doing, but we'll have to arrest you if you continue buffing those nails. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Mike Fisher spends the next two or three days in jail. I don't remember what. So he, he achieved the four cylinders of civil disobedience. It wasn't for him doing this that, I would probably not be doing this. So, I can't really put him on a pedestal, but he probably wouldn't want to be there anyway. Okay, so I think Dan was going to come out and he has a nice little break.